a lot has been written about Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and his fictional detective, Sherlock Holmes. But where does the name Sherlock Holmes come from? Was it from a famous cricketer of the time? Or was it a throwback to his school days? Because Arthur Conan Doyle had a friend at school called Patrick Sherlock. We've done considerable amounts of research into this and we're now presenting you with the facts. These are all facts that we have unearthed in the village of Ingleton, in the beautiful Yorkshire Dales. Here at Mason Gill is where the Sherlock story really starts. Mary Doyle, Conan Doyle's mother, moved down to Mason Gill as a housekeeper to the Waller family estate, possibly with the idea of marrying off a daughter to Dr. Brian Charles Waller. Conan Doyle's short story, The Surgeon of Gaster Fell, published in Chambers' Journal in 1890, appears to be semi-autobiographical and deals with an attempt by a brother and sister to keep their father out of an asylum by taking him to live in a remote part of the Yorkshire Dales, including such references as the views of Fells and Morecambe Bay. Prior to all this, Brian Charles Waller, who lived here at Mason Gill, was resident with the Doyle family when they lived previously in Edinburgh during his lectures, hence the family connection. Brian is also known to have encouraged the young Conan Doyle into studying medicine himself. With regards to Dr Waller, there's no actual name check. However, only the enigmatic quotation, my mother had adopted the device of sharing a large house. Dr Waller then left Edinburgh to run his family estate right here at Mason Gill and Mary Doyle followed him and lived here from 1882 until 1917. In the years that followed, as her son gained fame and fortune, family letters show that Mary ignored repeated requests from Arthur to leave Mason Gill and move closer to him to share in his newfound fortune. This is the very building that Waller lived in and the cottage next door was occupied by the Conan Doyle family. It said that there was a doorbell system from the main house to the cottage to be able to summon the housekeeper, Mary Doyle. Arthur Conan Doyle took up residence here on his return from Austria. A visitor to Mason Gill in the 1870s would have come here from either Tea Bay or from Leeds. There were two railway stations, one at each end of the viaduct. One was owned by the Midland Railway Company and the other one by the London and North West Company. But whichever station you arrived at, you would face a horse and cart journey to Mason Gill, the ancestral home of the Waller family. And so to Todd Sherlock the Vicar of St Mary's Church from 1874 to 1879 and part-time vicar to the nearby St Oswald's in Thornton in Lonsdale, where Mary Doyle was a parishioner. He was the nephew of Edgar Sherlock, rector at nearby Bentham and son to Randall Hopley Sherlock. Randall Hopley Sherlock, proprietor of the Liverpool Mail, chief investor of the Liverpool Union Bank and the Chester Birkenhead Railway. He'd come to Ingleton to visit his son Todd and for the sake of his health. Unfortunately, on August the 9th, 1875, while taking a shortcut from the railway station, he was hit and killed by lightning. Not the sort of health he was expecting. This was a big story at the time when Arthur Conan Doyle's mother first came to Mason Gill. And did Arthur Conan Doyle himself know of the story when he came to Mason Gill? This brass lectern was a gift from the pupils past and present of Storrs Hall School. 
It was a private school for young ladies, and we know that Conan Doyle's two younger sisters attended that school. And we know that the family made a contribution towards the purchase of this lectern. It was at this time Conan Doyle changed the name of his hero from Sheringford Holmes to Sherlock Holmes. Located on the tower end of the church can be seen the Sherlock window, which unfortunately is now difficult to see due to a tree blocking its sight. And this is the Sherlock window. The inscription reads, in loving memory of Randall Hopley Sherlock of Liverpool, killed by lightning in Ingleton, August the 9th, 1875. This window was erected by his widow. The window is a reminder of the benefactor's heirs. Thornton in Lonsdale lies tucked between Ingleton and Mason Gill. And it was at this church, St Oswald's, that Sir Arthur Conan Doyle married his first wife, Louisa. Also, his two sisters were also married here, one in 1895 and the other in 1899. The Sherlock family would have spent a good 10 years in the vicinity and in the companionship of the Doyles. The Waller family would also have had strong ties with the church here. It's here at St Oswald's that the Doyles and the Sherlocks would have met. The Sherlocks may even have been at the wedding ceremony between Arthur and his wife Louisa. But whatever the circumstances of the meeting, this was the same year that this book, A Study in Scarlet, was started. Just across the road from St Oswald's is the famous pub, The Martin Arms. This would have been Arthur Conan Doyle's local when he came to visit his mother on frequent occasions. And what of homes? This area below the church and the viaduct is still known as the Homes. Homehead House, Homehead Farm are still in existence. Or did he get the name Holmes from Oliver Wendell Holmes, a famous poet at the time, as is supposed? So that is the story of where the name Sherlock came from. And this very church, St Mary's in Ingleton, is in need of some financial help with the re-roofing taking place here to keep the site open for all in the future. Here are the details on screen if you wish to help. But the Sherlock Holmes story is not the only reason to come to this area. Ingleton and its surroundings has a lot to offer the walker, climber, caver and of course tourist visitors. Let us take you on a quick tour of this magnificent part of the Yorkshire Dales. White Scar Cave, located just outside Ingleton on the B6255, is one of the longest show caves in Britain at a staggering 6.5 kilometres in length. Showcasing stunning formations and waterfalls along the way, this is great fun for all the family. Ingleton is also now the starting point for the famous Yorkshire Three Peaks Walk, featuring Ingleborough, Pennygent and Wernside, 
covering a distance of 24.5 miles. Ingleton also has a play park for the children and directly adjacent to this is our very own outdoor heated swimming pool which opens from May through till September. And of course Ingleton is home to the famous Waterfalls Walk, six kilometres of natural beauty. The Settle Carlisle Railway passes nearby at the famous Ribblehead Viaduct with a small museum at the station here. Please see the Ingleton website for more information.